So seal the deal, AKA Bitcoin. A lot of people finally starting to realize the faults of our current monetary policy system, getting very excited about AKA digital gold. And right now in the short term, people particularly focusing on early 2024 and the idea that we will finally have an approved spot Bitcoin ETF. And on the regulatory front, you might have noticed that recently things have been ripping coin Mara riot. But to start the week off, at least in pre-market trading, there was quite a bit of weakness. And that was because of an unfortunate negative update from the SEC but I want to explain all that in just one second. Bitcoin hovers around 41,000 as meme coin ordinals frenzy clogs up blockchains. Longs to continue to get liquidated as the price of Bitcoin and other major diesel assets gyrate. It's just kind of going sideways. To me, it's really not that surprising. We had eight weeks of green. Rippity skippity doodah to the upside. The EMA cloud is still green. If anything, I would argue that the rocket engines got a bit too hot and this is a reasonable pullback. As long as 40,000 holds, this trend line breakout to the upside, very much in play. But I also do want to let you know, just from the point of technicals, it wouldn't be the most surprising if there's a bit more of a downside, because if you bring up Bitcoin futures, and you could get this most likely on whatever charting software you're on, you're going to notice there's actually a downside gap fill to 39.6 thousand and obviously quite a bit of support between 30. So in the short term, I would love for it to obviously stay above 40, but also in the short to medium term, the bull case in my, I guess, estimation is still in play as long as Bitcoin's above 38K. This really, to me, isn't a bear thing. If anything, it's just a healthy pullback. Now, before we get into some of the nitty gritty of the updates and all this, I have to share this with you. It's absolutely hilarious. The birth of the word HODL. Exactly 10 years ago today, the term HODL was born in a drunken rant that turned into a rally cry for the Bitcoin revolution. And this drunken rant is better than you could have ever anticipated. I type D that title twice because I knew I was wrong the first time. Obviously the title, I am HODLing, misspelling, switching the L and the D, but it gets better. Still wrong, whatever. Girlfriends out at a lesbian bar, Bitcoin crashing. Why am I holding? I, I'll tell you why. It's because I'm a bad trader and I know I'm a bad trader. Yeah, you good traders can spot the highs and the lows, pit pat, piffy, wing, wong, wang, just like that and make a mil, a millino bucks. Sure, no problem, bro. Likewise, the weak hands are all like, oh no, it's going down. I'm going to sell. He, he, he. And then they're like, oh God, my asshole. When the smart traders who know what the fuck they're doing buy back in, but you know what? I'm not part of that group when the traders buy back i'm already part of the wait <laughs> where are we at when the traders buy back in i'm already part of the market capital so guess who you're cheating day traders not me those taunt threads saying oh you should have sold yeah no shit no shit i should have sold i should have sold moments before every sell and bought moments before every buy but you know what not everybody is as cool as you you only sell in a bear market if you're a good day trader or an illusioned noob the people in between hold in a zero sum games such as this traders can only take your money if you sell so i've had some whiskey actually on the bottle it's spelled whiskey whatever sue me but only if it's payable in bitcoin a true legend the artist the mozart who gave us the revolutionary cry of hodl exactly 10 years ago that's the major thing i wanted to share with you just because i thought it was amazing from then till now if you did hodl Things were rocky. There was ups, there was downs, but still generically up. Bitcoin, the overall market cap of BTC itself, trading at $807 billion. Bitcoin at risk of snapping historic winning streak, but perfect storm brews for a strong 2024. So yeah, you could have that guy's outlook of maybe timing things are really difficult, so it's easy just to hodl. But if you're more of an active trader, you might be paying attention to the short term, as they refer to gyrations. In my opinion, I agree with the drunken ranter whose girlfriend was at a lesbian bar for whatever problem. Hey, hey, I ain't judging. Seems like he had quite the night, but I do hope that he hodled because if he did, 
you know he's most likely going to be up if he got in a decade ago. In fact, I believe in the past decade, there's only been one down year. Overall, it's clearly outpaced the likes of gold. It's clearly outpaced the overall market. Over the past decade, it's been a phenomenal investment. With that being said, like I just alluded to, I know some of you are active traders, so I know you want me to cover some of the major happening news. Market participants expect interest rates to fall aggressively in the US, UK, and Europe for the next couple of years, which is more beneficial for risky assets. As money becomes cheaper, i.e. the Fed fund rate, both in the US and globally start to drop, money becomes cheaper again, and typically that's when you see an inflow into quote unquote riskier assets. Bitcoin's price cooled at just below 42,000, down 4% this week and on track to snap the first eight week streak of gains since 2017. Yeah, we all wanted the streak to continue, but this slight pullback, it's nothing that crazy. I would actually argue that it's healthy. Investors moved a net 860 million of Bitcoin to exchanges, signaling profit taking. So short term people are taking their money. But remember, more than 50 percent is still just being hodled by people who haven't touched it in literally years. Bitcoin to hit 75,000 in early 2024 as U.S. spot Bitcoin ETF approval and having narratives combined. In a recent end of year report, Woo Network targets a $75,000 price point for Bitcoin in early 2024. Bitwise has a similar price target with the fund predicting that Bitcoin will trade above 80,000. Historically, we've covered other ones, other people calling out roughly this level, some people going as high as 100K. And once again, just to remind everyone, this is just for 2024. Now, will they be right? I don't know. Time will tell. But there are many things going on in the fundamental backdrop that add up to obviously a successful year for crypto and specifically Bitcoin in 2024. What could get in the way of it? Regulations and the SEC. And that's a little bit of what we saw this morning. US SEC denies Coinbase's push for crypto regulations as quote unquote unwarranted. The US exchange had formally petitioned the agency to start writing comprehensive crypto rules, but after quote unquote careful consideration, the SEC said no. You would think that the regulatory body of the markets in the US in modern time would be interested in writing comprehensive rules, but their response was just, nah, I guess they have better things to do. Coinbase has waited since 2022 for a response from the SEC on its formal petition to request tailored regulations for crypto, even seeking to force an answer through the courts, and the rejection has now arrived. The SEC says there's no interest to craft a new regime for crypto and that it's already writing some targeted crypto rules and conducting enforcement actions under existing authorities, though two of the five commissioners disagreed. So not even the SEC can get their house in order on this one. Coinbase said it will take the matter back to court. Obviously, if you're a supporter of crypto, you're hoping that Coinbase will be successful, but it just blows my mind that time and time again, we're giving the ball to Gary Gensler and we're like, hey man, one yard to go, get it into the touchdown zone, help the world out, and he somehow fumbles it. Time and time again, it truly blows my mind. Obviously, this had a negative impact at first on the likes of Coin and then other miners such as Mara and Riot. Uh, Bitcoin fees hit 20 month high as miner revenues match 69,000 Bitcoin price. Bitcoin miners are the main beneficiaries of current sky high transaction fees, according to data, but many longtime market participants have little time for complaints. Obviously, you feel the FOMO, you feel the excitement, but something special is going on right now, but just wanted to to share some of that internal data. And now let's just talk about some of the other more degen YOLOers who have made crazy, crazy money. Now, I have no position whatsoever in the current memes that are running. And I'm talking about Bonk, I'm talking about Snack. All of those are running and some people are making serious money. Bonk's surge sends prices of Solana Saga phone flying to $2,000. The sealed and unopened phone boxes contain an airdrop of 30 million Bonk tokens, which has seemingly revived dismal Saga sales. A dog themed meme token may have just resurrected sales of Solana's Sega phone, which some now selling for as much as $5,000. Jesus. After earlier being deemed a failure by its makers, several Saga phones on the online marketplace eBay have been sold for upward of $2,000 apiece. One phone was sold for as high as $5,000. Sales of Solana's Sega 
phones picked up last week as some arbitrage traders appear to be chasing a 30 million bonk token airdrop given to every phone owner the airdrop was worth over 700 dollars at peak last week for a phone that only cost 5.99 so obviously people were playing that 100 dollar arbitrage opportunity but other traders other i guess I have a special place in my heart for them. Other DGENs have taken this to the next level. Crypto Trader turned $1,000 into $100,000 on Solana's newest meme coin, Dog With Hat. Like it or not, dog tokens are driving big business in the crypto markets. Dumb money is roaring back in the crypto markets with one trader turning $100,000 into well over 100 k a thousand into well over a hundred thousand by betting on of all things a token whose mascot is a dog wearing a beanie imagine that story as like a grandfather explaining to your grandchildren like where'd all of our money come from You're like i yoloed into a meme coin They're like what's a meme coin like you just wouldn't get it. Synonymous crypto enthusiast Block Grays told Coindesk he bought the meme coin Dog With Hat WIF in late November, shortly after it debuted on the Solana blockchain's DeFi markets. I thought the dog with the hat was very funny, so and so I bought some. He said, noting that he's since realized 25,000 in profits while letting the rest of his gamble ride in his wallet. You can check the wallet out, but still worth way over six figures. Still, 100x meme coin trades are more luck than skill, said BlockRays, a part-time crypto trader who said he works with consumer startups. He compares it to gambling. The secret is to be an idiot, I think. Please write that down. That's legitimate financial advice. The secret to being a successful trader I would agree, is to be an idiot. I should have probably sold several times, but that dog had a hat. I don't know what more of a fundamental thesis you need beyond the fact that the logo is a dog with a hat, and that would keep me into the play. No, unfortunately, I never got this play at all. In fact, this is the first time I've ever heard of this particular crypto, but just to show you there, sometimes it's simply better to be lucky than skillful, and sometimes you can get a giant financial windfall by yoling your money into something you probably shouldn't be yoling it into, but a truly impressive and obviously crazy story.